This is my 2016 Game of Thrones ice wall from Funko. I am going to open it and tell you if it sucks or not. By the way, it sucks. As I am filming this, I have never seen Game of Thrones. I bought this from ToysRS.com a few months before they announced they were closing. I got it for $15. Since it is basically a diorama, it can be used for anything, so I bought one. I don't know what the wall is within the context of the show. I thought it was a wall keeping Ice Warrior zombies back, but I, I don't know. I've never seen it. I don't know. Immediately, you can see some problems with it before you even open the box. To start with, Peter Dinklage comes with a goblet. Now, I haven't seen the show, so maybe the midget just sat there and got drunk for the whole battle. I don't know, but it just seems out of place. Also, the box says you can recreate battles at the ice wall. Yet the midget isn't shown in a single battle picture, except this one where he's throwing barrels at a poor teenage girl. I'm assuming she's a teenage girl. I haven't seen the show. The only other picture of him on the box is a picture showing that you get him for free. The box also keeps telling you that figures are not included, four inches away from it telling you a figure is included. Let's open this mess. Right off the bat, there are no instructions that I can find. Everything comes in a plastic tray to hold everything in place, which is nice. Inside the main wall is another tray to hold all the little pieces in place. The base has pegs for the wall to snap into, but they don't lock in place, so if you pick up the wall, it falls off the base anyway. Let's look at the figure for a bit. If this is a battle, why is he drinking beer? In the show, did he just sit there and watch the ice wall battle while getting plastered? I don't understand this. Why not a sword? Why is he not in the battle in the pictures? Again, I have not seen the show, but it doesn't make sense to me. But he comes with a goblet. So I have a goblet. And a midget. Every time I have ever seen a clip of the show with him in it, he's either always drinking or he's always trying to convince someone of something. Does he even fight at all? He doesn't seem to want to stand straight with the cape. It depends on how you straighten his legs, I guess. His arms won't raise all the way up with his cape on. And I can see no instructions, but apparently you pop his head off to get the cape off. I figured that out by popping his head off to get the cape off. Let's look at the accessories. And by accessories, I mean three barrels and a wooden frame people stand on. I don't know what's in the barrels. More booze for the midget, maybe. I don't know. i never seen the show. If this is a battle site, I don't understand why they didn't give you weapons or shields. Instead, they give you barrels, like it's a game of Donkey Kong or something. The eight pieces that make up the top of the wall that people stand on are all made from the same four molds. So it's two pieces of each. Two of this thing. And two of this thing. And two of this thing. And two of the floor with foot pegs on it. And three Donkey Kong barrels. Those barrels may be full of monkeys. No instructions. Trial and error trying to get it to fit together. I saw one review on YouTube where the guy had to stop the video to try to figure out how it goes together. You can barely see it, but there is molded into the plastic both an A and a B. So the two A's go together and the two B's go together. Once you put it together, it's basically two identical little open air structures side by side. I guess there's no right way to put the floor in. Both are identical with three foot pegs shaped like a triangle. So you can either put it one way or put it the other way or whatever you want. They molded wood on the bottom of the floorboards, which you can't see once the floor is put in place. So that was wasted. It's not possible to put the floorboards in upside down because of the foot pegs. You could have had a side with no foot pegs, but the foot pegs prevent you from sliding the floorboards in upside down. 
So why would they mold a wood design on a side that you cannot see when it's assembled? You see that there is no way for the figures to get from one side to the other. There are foot pegs on the ice wall. This one is huge. I don't know why. Compared to foot pegs on this G.I. Joe figure stand, this peg would impale a figure's foot right up past the ankle. I'm surprised the figure's foot peg actually goes that deep, but it does. All over the base are these weird markings molded into the ice. It took me a little bit to realize they were supposed to be arrows that got froze over and covered in ice and snow. This one looks like a sword. And this one looks like a sword inside a sheath. Now I'm going to show you what they should have done. By using this masking tape, you can see that the base should have been mounted on the wall on a hinge so it could fold up on the back for easier storage. Because this takes up less space than this. By covering the gaps with plastic, it could have sealed shut. With trays molded inside, it could have doubled for storage for the figures. Instead of this badly designed flimsy mess of a structure on top, the top should have been molded in the shape of a handle, or have a handle that folds out, like this C-3PO action figure case, this Darth Vader action figure case, or this handle on Castle Grayskull. With the base folding back and locking tight in action figure storage compartment, it could have made a great play set that doubled for an action figure carrying case. Kids could have carried it over to their friends' houses and played with their adult HBO drama action figures and reenact all the violent deaths and rapes from the show. But then the box tells you it's an adult collectible, not a toy. Nope, looks like a toy to me. How could it not be a toy? I bought it at Toys R Us. Let's review. The top structure is badly designed, unless this is how it was on the show, I don't know, I've never seen it. It's a battle site that has no battle equipment, but it does have Donkey Kong barrels. Was this how the battle played out on the show? I don't know, I haven't seen it. I'll wait until I have spending money and get the DVDs cheap on eBay. Someday, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. The base should have been molded on a hinge for easier storage, but it wasn't because somebody somewhere is dumb. And the figure, who is drunk, is not shown participating in the battle with weapons and is only shown with the playset in one pitcher throwing Donkey Kong barrels at a girl. No, Mario, you're supposed to save the princess, not knock her unconscious with Jim Beam. Midgets killing girls by throwing things at their heads? I don't know, maybe that's his thing. I haven't seen the show. Are you sure that's how you want to display your wall? And he comes with booze. Do you think Tattoo can see the plane from up there? Boss, boss, the plane, the plane. No, Tattoo, I wanted the peanut. Help the Night Watch defend the wall from the armies of the White Walkers. So this girl is working with the White Walkers? Are these people? I don't know, I haven't seen it. The Game of Thrones wall display displays up to 253 three quarter inch fi wait, what? 253. Oh. The Game of Thrones wall display displays up to 25 three and three fourth inch action figures. 25? By the way, there are 26 foot pegs. But let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Well, there you go, twenty six figures. Yeah, I'm not going to display this mess, no. By the way, I could not display my Funko Game of Thrones Daenerys action figure on any of the 26 foot pegs on my Funko Game of Thrones ice wall action figure diorama because they made the figure with no peg holes in her feet, so it's not possible to stand their own figure on their own figure display base because somebody somewhere is dumb. 
But I now have an ice wall diorama. And some Donkey Kong barrels. And some booze. And Mini-Me has a friend. So there you go. Video's over. Bye.